Good morning, it's a Doug. And I'm Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama 5Cast. And today we're going to be talking about a mom-centered family meeting journal. Uh, you may have seen the book, Mom-Centered Family Meeting, but this is a journal and this is the way, this is the thing you use to help you through the process. So one of the first things we talk about in the journal is visiting with mom or dad and getting their preferences and writing them down. Why is it important to know what mom wants? Mm, very. Well, it's the center of the care that she will receive in the future. Yeah, and it, it, it's her life, her dad's life, mm -hmm. so they should say what they want, right? Absolutely. And a lot of times this just gets glossed over. People, it sounds kind of common sense, but people don't bother to ask mom or dad, what do you want? You know, and if your health declines, what do you want? And you know, it's, it would it was very important to me to know what mom wanted because that helped me determine how much of my time I needed to give her as a caregiver. And, and she wanted to stay at home. Absolutely, make no bones about it. No bones about it. <laughs> and so, so Cindy talked with her mom, and that's kind of one of the first steps with this. Uh, mom wanted to stay at home, and then you talk to your siblings, know their preferences. Are they able to help? Will they will they help? Some of them will, some of them won't. But you know, however it is, you need to know that and get it off the table first. Another thing is discovery. You know, and we've talked about this in other videos. Sometimes parents are open with their kids. The kids know everything about mom's finances, mom's legal documents. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes, and, and you know, mom and dad's done their thing for years. Kids done their things for years, and the kids don't have a clue. They live out of state, and then when something happens to mom, like my mom, she had a stroke just suddenly. Fortunately, I knew a lot of it, but you know, I didn't know everything. Thought I did, but didn't. But she was in control right up to the point where she had the stroke. Right. But she had the documents in place so that Doug could handle things once she did have the stroke. And that was very important. So that's a discovery process. You go through, you know, financial, legal, get all that information. What documents she has, where they're at, who's appointed to make decisions. What does she want? And then you do the pre-meeting communication part where you talk with the siblings before the meeting. You know, there's checklists in there for that. And that's important to do to make sure everybody's on the same page. You know, if everybody's getting together, mom's had a health event. And the kids are flying in from different parts of the country, and they're going to sit down and have a meeting. You ought to, this is important, you should, and it's, it's very important that your mom or your dad should treat this, just imagine a corporation or board of directors meet. They just don't float in and talk. I mean, there's a lot of preparation before this meeting, and, you know, there should be a lot of preparation before the family gets together to gather all of this information. Absolutely. And then you sit down and you think, you ask mom, you know, what are your preferences? And she tells you, like my mom, she wanted to stay at home. So we had to look around and see once I could no longer provide enough care. And she got to the point where she needed a lot of care. What are the options? You know, does she move in with us, which she did for a year? Does someone move in with her? Do we get in-home non-medical help? Um, what are the options in your community? what can she afford and there are a lot of options and these are some of the things that you consider before you get to the meeting you look at the options and at the meeting there there's several issues this may be one of the big issues to mm -hmm. discuss and you discuss it and you come up with a going forward plan for mom or dad and then you go out and implement make implementation decisions and carry out the decisions you made at the meeting so there's a lot to it. We've got checklists below that may be a benefit to you. And the journal we've got down here may be a benefit to help walk you through this process. So click on the download below, get that. Uh, hopefully this will help and go forth and make it a good week. Thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and click on that little notification bell to be notified the next time we do a video. And if you want to interact with us, check out the description below and leave us a comment and let us know what legal or caregiver topics you'd like to hear about.